I've received a lot of requests for um, information on how to use uh, Google Maps with a screen reader. Um, and uh, just as an FYI, I just want to let you know before I get started showing you how to do that, uh, the screen reader that works the best with the browser that works the best tends to be um, JAWS or NVDA, and both tend to work better with Mozilla Firefox when dealing with any sort of Google or Google Doc uh, program. So uh, the program I'm going to be using is JAWS, and I'm also going to be using it with Firefox. Um, we're going to find directions uh, to a simple location that uh, is nearby and uh, within walking distance, but obviously this can be used in any uh, way that you would need it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my JAWS with uh, alt Control j JAWS for Windows is ready. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Mozilla Firefox, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do a Windows M to minimize all apps, or I could do Windows D to get to the desktop, either one. And then I'm going to use M to navigate to Mozilla Firefox. That is the way I'm going to open it. You, however, could choose to do so differently. Windows M, M, Magic, M, Microsoft, M, Mozilla Firefox. Okay. Enter. Enter. Okay. Frequently, just so you know, I'm going to be pressing the control key to make JAWS um, just so anyway, uh, I'm going to navigate to my search bar or to my address bar where I can type in google.com. I'm going to do that with an F6. So F6. F6. Fire. And I'm going to type in G O O G C E P R C O M. Enter Yahoo Edit. Type in text Google dash Mozilla Firefox. Okay. Now what happens right away when you open a Google website is uh, that it will immediately place you in the search field because it thinks, and it's not wrong, that you will be doing a web search. And you will be, but you'll be using a Google app. You want to get out of that edit field. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a tab. Tab, Google search button. Okay. And then I'm going to do a Windows key, or no, actually I'm going to do a control key and a home uh, key to get to the very top of the document or of the page. Google. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the tab key until I hear apps collapsed. Uh, Google has a variety of apps that are available for use, but uh, they are um, not all on the same same screen. So they are in like a little collapsed area of the screen, and in order to get to that, we need to use the tab key. Um, to let you know, just in advance before we get there, my Maps app will be probably further down in the list than maybe yours will. And it doesn't matter where it is as long as you get to Maps. So I'm going to use a tab to get to the apps. Tab, plus a new tab, Gmail link, tab, images link, tab, apps collapse as pop-up link. Okay, now I'm going to hit enter. Enter apps region. And now I'm going to hit tab until I hear maps. Tab, tab, Gmail draggable tab, drive draggable tab, calendar tab, search draggable tab, YouTube draggable tab, sites draggable drop tab, maps visited draggable droppable link draggable droppable. So now I'm going to hit enter to open my maps app. Enter, apps collapsed as top of now, link. Now, again, Google. you search probably edit, text. heard that boink, you know, little thing. That lets you know you were in an edit field. And again, Maps puts you in an edit field on purpose right away. Which, again, it's not wrong. You will be editing, but it will be looking for directions. If you wanted to be able to view a map of a location, you would enter that here. But that's not what we want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate down to uh, the directions button, and I'm going to use the tab key for that. So I'm going to hit tab until I hear directions. Tab. Tab, times lit app, search bug app, navigation app, traffic lit app, bicycle app, terrain lit app, directions link. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. Enter, read only, choose now, starting. Now, it's going to give me um, an option to choose a starting point. It will also give me, if I'm logged into Google, if I use a down arrow, I could choose a variety of starting points that I have recently searched for. But I don't really want to do that right now. I just want to show you how to enter one. So I'm going to do 1700 West State Street, which is where I work. One seven zero zero space double E S E S S T A T E S S T R E E T J E S D I L E S T I. Now you will notice that I typed the city and the state. There are more than one, or there is more than one Jatonsville in the country. 
So it's important to include that city and state. Um, now I want to uh, do a tab to get to the destination field. And this is where I'm going to type where I'm going. Tab, edit, 1515 Center of a Jamesville Y type and text. I don't know why it thinks I'm going there, but that might have been a recent search I did. But I don't want to go there. I want to go to 1717 Center Avenue. So 1717. Again, I'm adding with city and state. You do not need to capitalize when using Google. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on whether I'm, you know, feeling particularly like I need to. So what I'm going to do is now to do that search, I'm going to hit enter. Enter search button. And it has given me a route. Um, if you can see on the map, the route is highlighted in blue, and it shows um, a, the route with the surrounding streets and things like that. However, I don't really need that right now. Um, where I am is I'm at the top of the page. I don't necessarily need to be there either, so I'm just going to hit a tab. Tab, navigation region. Okay. Tab, show traffic link. Okay, I don't want to see the traffic. Tab, details link. I do want to see details, uh, so I'm going to hit enter. Enter Google Maps. And this is going to give me my driving directions. Now, it when I have entered that, uh, I could it's going to pop me right back at the top of the screen. I don't want to be there because honestly, it'll take me a while to get to my driving directions. To get there easier, I'm going to use an H for a heading. Driving directions heading level one clickable. Now here I can either do an insert down arrow to have it read everything, or I can just arrow down. It doesn't matter which option you use. But what I do want to show you is that if I do hit one down arrow, print button, I'm going to get to the print button. I can choose to print the directions if they are for a sighted friend or somebody who will be driving or if I want to be able to use a CCTV to read them later, if you are somebody that can or, or would do that. Um, you can also use a screen reader to read them, which I will show you momentarily. Um, if I wanted to print them, though, I would hit an enter. Enter. And I can print including maps. Menu, print including maps. I'm using my through items, press up or down arrow. Yep, I'm using my arrow key, so I print including maps, or I can print... Print text only. The only the text. I don't want either one of those, and if I wanted to, I would hit enter, and it would pop up the dialog box, and I'd hit OK, and I'd end up with a printed directions that I didn't want. But I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to hit escape. Close directions, buzz gate, land, heading level 1 via W, state ST and center of 8, zoom 1.1 miles, zoom in without traffic, dot, show traffic, 1700 W, state ST, Jamesville, what head east on W, state ST, for this time ST button, 0 0.5 me clickable. Okay, that's saying 0 0.5 miles. Turn right on the center of a information destination will be on the left button. Okay. 0 0.7 me clickable. Okay, and that's letting you know that that's 0 0.7 miles. So the second part of your journey after the turn is going to be just a little longer than the first part to let you know. Um, another thing that you should probably be aware of is that this does not give you like your cross streets and it's not designed to be exact directions it is designed they're designed for sighted people to get them from one place to another it is not going to give them very detailed directions what streets you cross anything like that so and another thing is to keep in mind is uh, they have a small disclaimer on the screen that you can actually read it, um, with JAWS if you want to but it talks about how, oh, these, you know, these directions are to the best of our ability. There might be construction, things like that. So um, that's a basics of how to do a basic Google search using uh, the Google Maps application and uh, JAWS on Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I hope this was helpful.